Hello, welcome to Mix Training. This is Better Mix, and today I'm gonna show you why I use the desktop that I use. Alright, so if you've seen any of my tutorials, you've seen that uh, the desktop or Houdini interface that I use is basically not the default layout that Houdini comes with. And uh, it's, when I see people actually using the default layout in Houdini, it it, it kind of hurts me because <laughs> it, it's difficult to use. So this is the layout that I use. So I have, and by layout I mean uh, how the panes here are uh, distributed in in the in the interface in Houdini. So I have the viewport on this side, and then I have another division here for. Uh, Python panel here or a Python pane and then some of uh, the geometry spreadsheet here Which is really important to have your attributes uh, uh, Visible here for me. Then I have this huge area in the middle For the network and for me the network is the most important part in Houdini. So Houdini it's all network so that's why I'm giving it we always kind of 40% of the screen, it's it's the network, it, it's that's the main thing here. And it's also in this vertical uh, space, so we can go, we can see the whole network in this case, in one go, like at a glance we can see it. And then on this side we have a huge panel, or another huge area for uh, the attributes, which sometimes are huge list of attributes like in this case this uh, this attribute pane has a lot of attributes and then down here i have another division with uh, mainly with the output section so i can actually really quickly select my render nodes and shoot renders from here really quickly uh i don't really use much of these tabs that i have here in this section but i have them there if i ever want to go to the tree view the tree view or the uh material pane or the asset browser uh, there. Uh, then here in the in the middle one, in the main middle section, I have tabs here. So I have material tab here for my material, so I can switch really quickly uh, editing materials here, and I can go back here and that's assign materials, or whatever. Instead of going uh, here and uh, going to material, and then kind of like that. So uh, quick quick shortcuts now, kind of do it simpler, but uh, this is how I like it. And then I have another shop here when, for whatever I'm doing, uh, Renderman stuff. Uh, but yeah, whenever I need something else, like let's say uh, doing some compositing, I'll just add a, an image section here, and that's what I, uh, that's how I use it. So here in the in the main viewport, I most of the time I'm here, but then I switch to the render view or uh, the mix explorer that I use, or sometimes I even put the uh, the Redshift uh, render view here. And I'm rendering to this panel and editing here and, and rendering here. So that's that's what I use. But now I'm going to tell you why. So let's switch now to the default Houdini uh, desktop, which is this one. And <laughs> oh my god, the viewport is huge. So the, the viewport just occupies most of the screen. And the, the most important part for me, which is the network view, it's super small. So you, you if you show all the network here just super small so you have to go inside here select one node and then maybe if you want to drag a node from here you're going to have to be scrolling and scrolling and scrolling moving around and then trying to connect stuff and all that it's not what i want so you have to be zooming in zooming out and uh zooming to another node so you're moving a lot here instead of just moving notes and you're seeing everything at, at glance and like going like all the way this size is like dude that's too small and also if you select node like the parameters here are like doesn't don't fit on the viewport on the pane you have to be scrolling down and then you have to be scrolling up and uh, yeah it's, it's not something that i really like so and I'm missing a lot of parts, so if I want to go to the uh, outputs, I have to switch here and select this. I could divide this one and have different things, but that's not how I like my desktop. I want to have kind of everything like one click away, at least one or two clicks away. Uh, so that's why I do it. You can see this is just, for me, This it's just like too painful to just 
work with one of the most important parts of Houdini, which is the network, work here in this little corner there. There's like, it's not even 25% of the screen there. And then if you try to do it like this, uh, you get more space like that, but the, this paint looks like crap, like it's, it's totally useless. And if you make this bigger, now you're fighting, still fighting in the vertical direction. And now the, this guy, you're going to have to be moving this guy, selecting some parameters here and then moving it back up and then to move this. It's just, ugh, doesn't make sense to me. Really, really doesn't make sense to me. So yeah. Uh, when I switch to my desktop, I see like, all right, I have everything I want here. I want to edit a note. I don't have to move this guy. I can see all the parameters here. There is no scrolling, uh, back or up or whatever. I can see the whole thing. I can go here and, and just render. I can see the whole thing here as well. Or a lot, this note can get really big. But you can see most of the, all the pages are visible in one go. I don't have to be scrolling or stuff like that. Same thing for my network. If I want to connect one node from here to all the way to the bottom, I can do that. It's just like, I can make another node here and here and then connect it there. It's like really, really, really simple to do that. I, I, I think this desktop is really productive. Uh, I don't know, uh, another way to work with this and uh, if you want to get a desktop like mine I'm gonna show you how easy it is to do it so I'm gonna go back to the default one uh, so the default one it comes like this now it does that doesn't uh, exist there it should be something like this like that's the default one okay so now if you have this default one what I do is just Put this guy down. And then I split this uh, pane with this and this little uh, menu here. You can split it uh, left and right. And then just change this to a network view. And then I just pin this. If you don't want to pin, you can uh, change it. But I like it to be pinned. Uh, because again, I create another one here, another tab. And then I make this the, the mat. And then create another one and then I create make this the uh, shop or even if you want to have uh, outputs here sometimes outputs get uh, a lot of stuff so if you want to have output here as well you can have it there uh, so that's uh, how I do that I generally I hide this uh, for space but I do use it for sometimes but uh, just by default I just uh, stash it away so let's make some space here. I just make this big. Uh, I just make this as big as when the lower endurance uh, horizontal scroll bar uh, goes away. Here you can see there it is. I just make it a little bit. This goes away. That's the size I want. And then I just want as much of Weeper you want. Now this viewport I split it up as well in the top and bottom direction. I make this smaller, and then I make this a python shell because i i do a lot of scripting so i i have my python shell here all the time and then i do another tab here and i do it with a geometry spreadsheet because i like oh, oh no that's not what i do i split this actually split this left and right and then i make this the geometry spreadsheet uh, generally i have this uh, more open whenever i'm scripting i just um stash this away and have my python shell available you could also uh have like another tab here with just the shelf or the geometry spreadsheet if you if that's what you want like instead of having those two guys visible i can do it like this uh geometry spreadsheet and just be one or the other uh that's a preference on your on your side so this is basically that's it that's basically my desktop and then I just save it here. So just go here and say, uh, save current desktop as, and uh, put your name in, and save it. And then uh, it will be here now. You can see it. Uh, by default, I don't know why, whenever you save a desktop the first time, this uh, bar always stows away. So just uh, 
uncollapse it and save it again. Just cr save current desktop, they will be open. And now you can see your desktop is here. Uh, if you want to start with that desktop uh, all the time, you go to uh, general uh, user interface here and select it from here. So that will be your default desktop. You can see you can select it for there, apply, and that will be your default desktop whenever you start Houdini again. So uh, that's it. I hope that uh, I illustrated the point why I use the desktop that I use and the advantages of it. So if you want to go and work better or work the way I find it better, now you can just go ahead and, and configure desktop the way you want or this way or just improve on whatever I did and uh, tell me that uh, I need to improve this or, or that or whatever else. All right, guys, thank you. I hope this uh, helps you work faster, more comfortable, and let's keep learning together. Cheers. <laughs>